What's up, everybody? Feels bad here, and we are back with another episode of your Chicago Blackhawks GM mode. All right, boys, we are back into it, and we are six six and one. Not really expecting too much from this team. It's okay though. Patrick Kane has four goals and five assists in nine games. Sorry, my phone is buzzing more so than an earthquake. All right, we dealt with that. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys. So, just to reiterate. We're getting the amount of points just to quickly go through. We're getting the points we kind of want, but we're not getting the sort of plus minuses we were expecting. So I'm going to make no changes. <laughs> no changes will be made just because I really don't see the need. I don't really expect that much from this team. I just, you know, good points to help the kids grow just to kind of show you everything. It is perfectly okay. There we go. Cam Ward's actually playing like a freaking super star. Sorry, if I got a little bit louder, I reached a little bit closer to grab my Gunner glasses. This episode is sponsored by Gunner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just helps me so I don't get headaches because I, I think this is the third video I'm recording in a row. I took a little bit of a break. Anyway, enough about my personal life. You don't need to hear about that. So, we are back. Well, I'm not saying we are back. Let's go ahead and sim. Yeah, how about that? Let's go ahead and sim. Um, let's go right to the trade deadline. I really don't have any other sort of um, plans. So um, we're going to sim to the trade deadline. Uh, I'll stop the video if anything ha interesting happens. But if not, I'll see you at the trade deadline. Okay, so we are back. So just to reiterate, we are 31, 25, and 7 at the trade deadline. We are one point. God, every freaking time I have to record... I almost just have to freaking burp. Jesus Christmas. I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. Excuse me. <laughs> a little off topic, but the your Chicago Blackhawks are 69. 69. I just are 69. Oh, my Jesus. Uh, this is wrong. It's going balls deep. I feel like the more I record, you would think you would get more comfortable behind the mic. No, I, I I mean, I do, but that also just means that I stutter more and sound like a freaking idiot. I sound like English is my third language. Uh, okay, so the Chicago Blackhawks have 69 points at the trade deadline. One point behind the Minnesota Wild, who have 70, and, three, and four points behind the Colorado Avalanche, who are third in our division. So it's all very close. Patrick Kane has 66 points in 63 games with 35 goals and 31 assists. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Then we all take a look. Alex DeBrinkit has, I can't do quick math, 60 points. Yeah, there we go. 60 points in 63 games played. Beautiful. He grew to an 85. There's a good chance he grows. Jonathan Toes, he has 43 points in 63 games. Fine, it's fine. Okay, we already went over. Perlini, now they're all plus minus. It's a bad, but Perlini went up to 81. Dylan Strom's up to an 83. Uh, Conan is up to an 80. Drake and Jewel is the same. Anise Mom is the same. Kunis is the same. Fortin is the same. Kruger went up to 78. John Hayden is the same. Uh, Duncan Keith, I'm just kind of going through it. All of them are the same overall. Just to kind of quickly go through it. Just to show you. Okay. Goalies. Corey Crawford. I want to take a look at that. Take a look at that. Uh, we're not going to be making any moves at the trade deadline. Oh, and before I forget, uh, you know how we got the other first from Florida? I'm like, oh, that's, that's a good move. Uh, yeah, well, Florida is killing the rest of their division. They have 40-13-8, and eight, and they have 88 points. The next team is 8 points behind, uh, 10 points behind them. So, fudge. I took a chance on Florida, and it backfired. Once again, Florida fucking stabs me in the back. Fuck Florida. Stonehand Steve, we need those t-shirts if you ever get up to this video. I doubt it. You take forever to watch. Uh, anyway, let's uh, sim to the rest. Let's sim the rest of the year and just get on with our lives. So let's sim to April. And don't worry, you'll get to hear my glorious voice as I'm slightly congested. And it is quite annoying to hear, but I just had to make these videos. I got had to get these videos done. Uh, otherwise... I would be posting daily, and uh, I would be upset with it, and the uh, seven viewers would be upset with it. So, um, we're actually going... I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say it because it's going to jinx us, but I'm okay if we make the playoffs this year. I'm okay with that. 
Uh, like I said, I really don't have any expectations for this team. So, that is wonderful. Uh, no, no, we're coming back down to earth. We're coming back down to earth. In typical um, modern day Chicago Blackhawks um, fashion. Jeez, oh my god, can we get to 40 wins? No, please, come on, get to 40 wins. No, okay, we, we missed the playoffs. Okay, all right. We could have made the playoffs there. We were on a little bit of a winning streak, and then they're just like, nope. Don't want to do that. That would be good for GM. Feels bad. Don't want to do that. We missed by two points. It's okay. It's okay. We just we just wasted a stellar year by Patrick Kane. But then, like I said, I really didn't have any expectations this year. That is a little annoying. Patrick came with 42 goals and 47 assists in 82 games. Wonderful, wonderful. Jonathan Toes with, oh my god, I can't do quick math, 55 points in 87 games. Beautiful. And we have Debrinkit with 26 goals and 54 assists in 82 games. Nice. Perlini, almost a 20-goal man, 38 points. Also a 20-goal man, Dylan Strom. Nice. Uh, Kunin, almost a 20-goal man. 12 goals, 5 goals, 11 goals. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm kind of just going through this quick because it's really, it's really not that entertaining right now. It's this it's year one, you know? It's just stuff happens. Not that fun. It is what it is. I cry a little bit. I cry myself to sleep. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Uh, just to kind of quickly go through, I mean, there's not much to talk about. I feel like I would try to trade Seabrook in the um, the draft or Cord Crawford, one of the two, because it's just there's just too many old people here. It's like a retirement home here. It really is. Anyway, uh, AHL Squadron. I don't really have anyone down here. I don't think I'm really looking at. Um. Okay, Victor Edgesell that I can't pronounce. I'm not, you know what? You're just Victor. I can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. Um, nothing really I'm expecting. I mean, this is nice. Dylan Sakura growing to 75. That could be helpful. Though Tyler's not doing so well. Jacob Nielsen. That could be Jakob. I never know. Graham not. Oh, God. I'm going to see Don't worry, if I sneeze, I cut it out. No, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay, so Carl Dalston, Gustav Forsling, didn't even check their stats. Uh, Snuggerud, Tallulah, Radish, perfect, perfect, perfect. Forsling is an 80 overall. Nice job, Eight, Anton Forsling. I really just want to power through, but, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's sim to see where we're getting draft or where we will be drafting. This is the Florida Panthers did really well and it was foolish of me to get their pick, but I mean, it happens. I messed up. Ay, ay, ay. No one's going to like that, but I, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying here, folks. I'm, I'm really trying here. Ay, vey. As I scratch my shin for comfort because of this team. So the AHL squad got eliminated as you just saw from the top bar. And I just sit here and wait. So anyway, our podcast is pretty fun with uh, Stonehand Steve, the Hockey Podcast. Episode 3 should be going up this Sunday. I think by the time this goes up, this will be Saturday. So it goes up tomorrow, the Hockey Podcast, if everything works out. Um, go check it out. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor.fm, pretty much anywhere. I don't believe we're on SoundCloud, though, but usually Spotify and Apple Podcasts are the big uh, platforms. And I take years off my life. So the Winnipeg Jets are the Stanley Cup champions, and the Springfield Thunderbirds are the Calder Cup champions. I believe we just saw them win in Edmonton, the Thunderbirds. So, where will we be drafting? Will we get lucky and win the draft lottery? I doubt it, but you can hope. 
we are drafting 11th. I saw Colorado, then I saw Carolina, and I was like, oh my god, did we do something amazing? No, we are drafting 11th. It's okay, though. Uh, we still have a lot of years. Not for Patrick Kane and Taze, though, but... We have a... It's gonna, it might take a while for this team. But you know what? We're going to be here a while. We're going to enjoy it. Um, so that's going to end this video. Like and subscribe if you wish. And I will see you boys in the next one.